Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, small uh, semicircle uh, with the center uh, P fully inscribed uh, in big uh, semicircle uh, with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, small uh, semicircle has been given to us as uh, 23 pi centimeter square. And O is the point of uh, tangency. And furthermore, uh, this uh, chord uh, CD is the diameter of this uh, smaller semicircle. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of the purple shaded region. This area, this area, and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label the radii of these uh, two semicircles. Let's assume that this uh, radius uh, of this uh, larger semicircle is being represented by uppercase R. And we are going to label uh, the radius uh, of this uh, smaller semicircle as uh, lowercase uh, R. Then uh, this segment uh, CP is going to be lowercase R as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, smaller semicircle and whose uh, area has been given to us uh, as uh, 23 pi centimeter square. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where this uh, lowercase r uh, is the radius of this uh, smaller semicircle. And since we are dealing with these uh, semicircles, so therefore the area of the semicircle is going to be simply this uh, area pi r square and I'm going to divide this one by 2. And now since the area has been given to us uh, as 23 pi, so therefore I'm going to fill in the blank. So I'm going to write down uh, 23 pi equals to pi times uh, r square uh, divided by 2. And here we are going to cancel out uh, this pi and pi on both uh, sides. So therefore, we are ended up with the r square divided by 2 equals to 23. And now I am going to multiply both uh, sides uh, by 2 to remove this uh, fraction. And here we can see this 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore, uh, r square turns out to be 46 on the right hand side. And now I am going to undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, this square and square root undo each other. So therefore uh, our radius uh, lowercase r turns out to be equal to square root of uh, 46. So therefore our this uh, lowercase r value turns out to be square root of uh, 46 uh, and this uh, lowercase r value turns out to be square root of 46 uh, as uh, well. And here's our next step. I have dropped uh, this perpendicular OP on this uh, chord uh, CD. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OP is the radius uh, of this uh, smaller semicircle. So therefore, this is going to be square root of uh, 46. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius uh, of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. As you can see over here, this uh, perpendicular OP is going to bisect uh, this chord uh, CD into two equal parts. In other words, uh, this segment uh, CP is going to be equal to this segment uh, PD. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. And here we can see that this uh, AB is the tangent line. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 90 degrees. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, line uh, AB is parallel to this uh, chord uh, CD. And now I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, D. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, OPD. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, OPD. 
and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, side uh, OD is the radius uh, of this uh, larger semicircle so therefore this OD is going to be our uppercase R and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uppercase R and our two other legs are uh, square root of 46 uh, and square root of 46 as well so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, square root of 46 uh, whole uh, square plus likewise uh, square root of 46 uh, whole uh, square is going to be equal to uppercase r uh, square so therefore that is going to give us 46 uh, plus 46 uh, equal to uppercase r uh, square if we combine the like terms our r uh, square turns out to be 92 i'm going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our uppercase r value turns out to be equal to and if we simplify this uh, square root of 92 that is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 23 so therefore the radius uh, of this uh, larger semicircle turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of 23 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, purple shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of the larger semicircle minus uh, the area of the smaller semicircle and we know the smaller semicircle area is uh, 23 pi so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, larger semicircle and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, larger semicircle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again area equals to pi r square where this uh, uppercase r is the radius uh, of the larger semicircle so therefore the area of the semicircle is going to be this area pi uppercase r whole square divided by 2 so therefore the area of this uh, larger semicircle is going to be pi divided by 2 times uh, our uppercase r value is uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 23 whole uh, square and we know that this uh, square is uh, 92 so therefore uh, this is going to give us uh, pi divided by 2 times uh, 92 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 46 uh, times pi centimeter square so therefore the area of this uh, larger semicircle turns out to be 46 uh, pi centimeter square and now let's make an observation we can see the area of this uh, smaller semicircle is uh, 23 pi and the area of the larger semicircle is twice of that one uh, is going to be 46 uh, pi and here's our final step let's recall this equation once again we already figured out uh, the area of this uh, larger semicircle as uh, 46 uh, pi and the area of this uh, smaller semicircle is uh, 23 pi so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation so we got uh, 46 uh, pi minus uh, 23 pi and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 23 pi centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, purple shaded region uh, turns out to be 23 pi centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye